Mr. Anderson? Yes. I'm afraid I have some bad news. It's okay, Doctor. I, I know my grandpa was struggling those last few weeks. I'll just be glad to know he's finally at rest, so give me all the bad news. All the bad news? Very well. Your grandfather is dead. Well, he had a long, full life. Oh, hold on. Not precisely finished yet. Is this your cell phone? Yeah, it is. No, sorry to have to tell you this, but your cell phone is dead. Oh. Well, that's alright. I'll just charge it when I get home. Home. Oh my god, doctor. My dog must be starving. I got it home. Now hold on, Mr. Anderson. There's even more. Your dog is dead. Excuse me? You said all of the bad news. Not some. All. All of it. Okay, but how could you possibly know my dog is dead? The clipboard tells all. Apparently at the time of his death, your grandfather was playing fetch with your dog in a local abandoned minefield. And when your grandfather collapsed after his massive heart attack, his fall triggered an explosive that blew up your dog into literally thousands of pieces. Grandpa blew up Xerxes with a mine? I know. Sometimes grief can cause us all to question why. Dear God, why were my grandfather and dog jointly killed in a minefield explosion? But we all have to answer that question one day or another. Really? Oh. Also, all of your neighbors are dead. What? That's right. The clipboard sings a sad but beautiful ballad of death. The tremors from the blast spooked a marauding herd of wild horses, causing a massive stampede on the street where you live. The grazed horses mercilessly pulverized all your neighbors and friends with their terrible hooves of slaughter. Oh my god. I'm afraid there's even more. This clipboard is an unfeeling harbinger of doom and tears. All of your family members, including your lesser known second and third cousins, on both sides, are alive. <sighs> Thank god. God, I thought you were going to say that they were dead too, but... Well, that would be ridiculous, right? <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, I misread that. They are all dead. What is wrong with you? Well, it's actually pretty simple. The blaze from the blast temporarily blinded the pilot flying the plane which your family was on to surprise visit your aging grandfather, which caused the flight to crash land into the baboon section of the county zoo. The baboons, well, they ripped them all to shreds, of course, with their small but strong primate hands. You have got to be the worst doctor in America. Technically, I'm the only doctor in America. Seeing how the rest of America is dead. Are you kidding me? That's not possible. Look around you. Oh my god. Due to a computer glitch, a local defense silo located under the Danbury Mall registered the combined minefield explosion and the plane crash is a sudden and deliberate attack by a Russian nuclear device, which instigated a doomsday scenario, which released poisonous gas throughout every central air system across the United States of America. You and I were the only two naturally born immune. Everyone. Dead. I'm afraid so. This clipboard is an unrelenting onslaught of tremendous devastation and cuttiness. What do we do now? Well, First things first, time to repopulate the United States of America. Now, um, how do we how do we do this? Because I I skipped that day in med school that explained it. I'll take it from here.